Yeah, I'll take, take uh, new hero. Always take new hero. Oh, it's a 50-50 split right down the middle for a second. Leaning towards slamming. What's your strategy this time, partner? We're going to lose the first battle to Yogg anyway. This is easy hero power. Goal for token. What's not in the pool? Murlocs and dragons. Murlocs, dragon. I feel like pirates and dragons have been missing the most today. The battle is really raging out there. Guys, we just lost the game. You're supposed to get a token here so you can buy something in hero power. There's the tokens. It's honestly not that expensive. It's not that expensive life-wise. We catch right back up. The battle is really raging out there. Actually, I think I want to take this first. Next turn I'm buying both of those, selling both of those, and hero powering. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Sometimes you miss token in your first three turns with Cthulhu. It rarely happens. But sometimes it happens. Cthulhu's not even good when you do hit a token too. This game's gonna be sus. Okay. Like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Da, 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 da. This is not good. Ooh, we're not gonna give him very many buffs off his tormented ritualists. Outmaneuvered. Okay, now I can buy two in hero power. We're popping off. I want this 3 4 in that guy. We're popping off. Now nah, we could just level again. What if we find something with shields, you know? Something good. Next turn, we buy two in hero power. But there's shields on three. We hit shields. We hit shields. We bail ourselves out. We win the game. But I'm looking at you, Crackling Cyclone. Crackling Cyclone's a winner. And Deflectobot, there's another one. We got two winners, two winners in the roll. I'm not saying it's a likely plan. I'm saying it's a hole that we've been put in, and this is the way out. We're in a very deep, dark dungeon right now. And the floor is breaking underneath us, and lava is coming out. And there's one scraggly little vine rope that we could jump onto and grab to hoist ourselves to safety. But at the other end of that vine rope, there's like tons of termites and they're eating away at that vine rope and we're like I don't know if the vine rope's gonna hold or not but we're still making the decision to jump towards it rather than standing there on the breaking floor it's okay so we not only have to make the jump but then the rope has to be strong enough to support our body weight and that's why we're getting this extremely low percent chance but it could just work In other words, if you bet that I'm not going to win, you're probably winning. The battle is really raging out there. None of these are the shields. We're screwed. We have two rolls for the shield. This health scales. I need the shield at this point. I'm hero powering. One roll for the shield. The roll of destiny. The comeback. <gasps> We have some chance in hell. Some non-zero chance in hell. We've made the jump, but we're only holding on by one hand now after the jump. We don't even have two hands gripping the vine rope. 
one hand, one single deflecto bot. Take the money engine? <laughs> Do we take the money? No, no. We need more shields. We just need to keep hitting shields. We gotta hit shields all day and mech resets. We're gonna lose this one still. But then after this, we're gonna recover. Look at that. Look at that. We're favored to not take damage. We're favored. That's a sentence I've not said in like the last 30 minutes. Oh my god. It's holding. The rope is holding. We're doing it. It's happening. Ooh. Edgar cats. No. Don't get baited by Edgar cats. It is so tempting. What are we trying to do? Shields? Is there more shields on four? There's a lot more shields on four. If we can get to four, is it greedy? Get someone for 17? No, he got hit for 17. We can get away with it. Okay, one more. One more greed play. Last one, I promise. And then we start to uh, we'll have a huge divine shield guy. It's okay. After After this, we're good. After this, we're out of the woods. After this, we're fine. Now I'm like, um, I'm spraying some insect repellent on the termites that are gnawing on the rope. But the insect repellent is very flammable and remembered the whole situation with the lava. So hopefully the rope doesn't catch on fire and burn. We're toying with that fade right now. But there's a good chance that it doesn't catch on fire and burn. It's far away from the lava. But there might be a little spit of lava that then we die. Doing great out there. <laughs> We're basically swinging on the rope to get rid of the termites. But long term, if this works out, the termites are gone, which would be fantastic. It's a good thing. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's fine. It's gonna work. We had to get rid of the termites, guys. What are we supposed to do? Just live on a rope with termites all our life? Easy. There's another divine shield, baby. Okay. Two divine shields. And rules, rules. More scaling is really good with all our shields. We take shield one. We take shield two. We want the hero power that leaves us with two gold left. So we roll twice. We can't not hero power. It's 8-8 eight, eight where the stats. We'll try and get this one to catch up. Wait, Elise! No! We're dead! Ah! This is the part in the movie where now we're dangling by the rope. We've successfully removed the termites. All known foreseeable obstacles have been removed. And then another character from off screen comes and cuts the rope for no freaking reason. Hasn't been mentioned in the movie at all and just shows up out of nowhere to kill the main character. GG. We live! Half the time we live. We get a beautiful redemption arc. I don't think we're gonna live. I don't think I'm killing anything. Wait. Wait. One drop. I love one drop there. Oh, kill five cost guy? 12 damage is the lowest we could take on average. We did it. Redemption arc. The story continues. How's it going out there? We need a mech reset. Go ahead and hire one of these Another shield? <laughs> I, we have a lot of shields. This is it. This is it. Cat's got nothing on me. The only one that is scary is uh, Elise. That's our rival. Uh, yeah, we're dangling from the lava. Our rival shows up, cuts the rope. We fall into the lava. Some side character saves us, the Hydra. Brings us back out of the lava. And now we go through this training gauntlet to eventually take down Elise at the end of the Elite Four. The beautiful movie. 10 out of 10 would watch that movie. You're watching it right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, would watch? You are watching. Hydra might actually be better later. Oh no, I was thinking I'm using it as the pumper. I think it's fine. This would be a beautiful comeback if we win this. I 
think you can win absolutely thing. gorgeous look at that we're turning the corner we're turning the corner we're doing it chat wait that's a big fernal Wasting shields left and right, guys. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Okay. We're doing it. The comeback arc is real. Your minions really pulled their weight. No, we don't want to condense those. We do want to taunt this big Ningamboop, though. I need that Harvest Golem, unfortunately. I need a mech reset so bad. Better hire a recruit while you can. That guy's good, but I can't afford him. Well, the mech reset's more important. It's probably too late. It's turn 10. We're not scaling that guy. It's too late. But those kind, these kind of scalers are pretty good with Cthulhu because you just need clumps of Stantos. All right, Harvest Golem. Don't absorb any buffs. Just stand there and just third wheel this comp without doing too much. But yeah, we got a sick Cthulhu comp. Ideally, eventually you get rid of this, but it's probably too big. If we had like 30 life, we could maybe get rid of the Swabby and put in real units. And eventually we need module for Harvest Golem. We need micros, man. Where are the micros? 7 to 12. Some low impact shields, unfortunately. That in mama can screw me. Everything got above the threshold. Cthulhu's not a good hero for doing 25 damage with. None of these are microbots. We are looking for microbots and pretty much exclusively microbots. Then we sell Harvest Gold and put in microbots. I'll take one of them. Oh shit. Already? It's too early. It's too soon. It's too soon, Elise. I have only been tr done two training matches. The Elite Four is four people. It's not when you verse the champion in the story. He's ruining the whole movie. I does not understand the cinematic universe that I've created here. And that's upsetting. No respect for the cinematic universe. He's trying to steal the show. <laughs> Slim Biggins, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here, dude. I'm done with this movie. Let's turn off the movie, guys. Is it? The movie's gone on too long. Maybe we'll do it to be continued and we'll see the next episode tomorrow. Because I don't think this is going in a good direction for us. At least Harvest Golem staying in his lane like a champ. He's not stealing any buffs. Wait, we're here? He's got no chance? Yo. We only needed two battles of training to come back and take down Elise. The big plot twist in the middle. How could I forget about the plot twist? <laughs> hey, this movie's got something for everybody. This is gonna be a holiday classic. It's just a little bit of something. Oh, he lives at one life for the final battle at the end. So he can make the comeback now. It's fair. He gave me a chance to come back. We give him a chance to come back. Um, tier 6? Elystra? If we get Elystra, how do I fit it? It's gonna be hard to fit an Elystra. Fill my hand with bananas. It's got to be safer. It's got to be bananas. Safety. We can replace Harv at the end of this sequence, which is fantastic. 
just take that so we can free up these slots. Another Jebait triple. I have Pirate Mech Beast. The jugs are actually sick here. We don't want more taunts. Alright, Harvest Golem. Be just like your predecessor. Do not take any buffs. Be loyal to the Harvest. Alright, we want to make both of these guys real big. They're better than Hydra. Hydra's more just here to be a Divine Shield Pupper. Three big bananas. This is the one that grows, right? Yeah. Top four. We're doing it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this one's dicey. Golden Goldrin, Golden Bird? We went first though, that's big. Going first, I think, was our win condition. That's big. Sucks to suck, we went first, nerd. <laughs> oh, only 19. We gotta stop leaving people at one health for the redemption matches because we have to win. We need to get more damage somehow too. I don't know if we can though. We're looking for what to get stronger. This gets replaced maybe? Poison unit? More mech resets is probably the answer. More mech resets. We need like another harvest golem. Uh, we're never getting to six this game. It's over too soon, so I'm not taverning. Okay. Jugs are good. Get Bolvar out. We can get rid of Bolvar and get rid of the jug afterwards just to condense. Harvest Golems leveling up. We want two of those Harvest Golems. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. I've beaten the ghost. It'll be fine. I'm condensing my buffs onto my important things. This guy's a punk. This guy's a punk. Elise beat this guy. I beat Elise. This guy's a punk. I don't even need my reset versus this guy. These are the sacrifice moments. This is the part of the story where you have to give up something. You know? We have to give up something to then get strong enough for the final fight. We had to sacrifice the mech reset here. Harvest Golem had to be sacrificed. And now we're going to have more concentrated buffs on our heroes. No! That kills my hydra. It kills my hydra. Wait, it pops his shields though. Wait, did it save? What? Oh, wrong order. We could tie. Dude, that's gotta be really small. We could tie. We could tie. We could tie! Yes! <laughs> <sighs> and we did it. The sacrifice. And then overcoming the challenge. Nothing can stop us now. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Nothing can stop us now. Eva Cleaver? He's got cleavers. How do we want to do this? We still want to just lead cleave, right? Actually, I think we want to lead these guys. Why well, they're running right into a shield, but and then we res he resets me off of his cleave. Where do I even put the second one? We're probably dead. Mathematically impossible. Does that mean we got high rolled or high rolled somebody? Did we do it? What is mathematically impossible? Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. We're getting high rolled or we did it? Oh, and it's first Elise. Dude, the cinematic universe is complete. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. 
all came together in the end, man. We did it. And we took down the final boss at least. What a beautiful storyline. And we almost hit 10k on the back of that. Honestly, that's been one of the favorite movies that I've been a part of. Thanks for watching me act out this movie, guys. I appreciate the support. Hopefully we can continue making more movies in the future. Alrighty. Are you eking out this top four? No one no, was No, everybody's alive. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, it's not you. Okay. I won't. <laughs> uh, so, you gonna look for a brand? 